एटम्स एंड मॉलिक्यूल्स डिफरेंस बिटवीन एटम्स एंड मॉलिक्यूल्स बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द लेक्चर क्लिक ऑन द सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड गेट एक्सेस टू आर हंड्रेड ऑफ यूनिक एंड सिंपल लेक्चर फॉर फ्री फर्स्टली लेट मी क्लियर योर कंसेप्ट अबाउट स्मॉलेस्ट यूनिट आर एस यू वेल कंसिडर अ वॉल अ नंबर नाइंटी टू एंड अ वर्ड कैट We know that the wall is formed by combining hundred or thousand of bricks. So brick is the smallest unit, SU, or basic unit of the wall. Secondly, we know that ninety-two is formed from two digits, nine and two. Here, digit is the smallest unit, SU, or basic unit of a number. Thirdly, we know that the word cat is formed from three letters. C A and T. So any letter is the smallest unit. S U are basic unit of any word. Now consider salt, sugar, and water. If we observe salt in electronic microscope, we see that salt is formed from two things: sodium and chlorine. And we cannot split up sodium or chlorine further. So sodium and chlorine are the two smallest units. Su are basic units of salt. Secondly, if we observe sugar, we get carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Also, we cannot split up carbon or hydrogen or oxygen further into something more simple. So carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen are the three smallest units. Su are basic units of sugar. Thirdly, if we observe water in the electronic microscope, we get that water is formed from hydrogen and oxygen, and they cannot be split up further into simpler substances. So hydrogen and oxygen are the two smallest units. Su are basic units of water. Now listen carefully. Brick is the smallest unit of a wall. Digits like two or nine is the smallest unit of any number. C A R T is the smallest unit of any word. Secondly, we know that salt, sugar, and water are all matter. So sodium or chlorine is the smallest unit of salt or matter. Carbon, hydrogen or oxygen is the smallest unit of sugar or matter. Hydrogen or oxygen is the smallest unit of water or matter. So these are the different smallest units of matter. In science, we call these smallest units as atoms. Therefore, we define an atom as The smallest unit of any matter is called an atom. Let me repeat it. The smallest unit of any matter is called an atom. Remember that we cannot divide an atom further into something else. Now let me give you some examples of atoms. Well, consider a periodic table. We know that there are 118 elements in the periodic table. The smallest unit of hydrogen is hydrogen atom. The smallest unit of sodium is sodium atom. The smallest unit of carbon is carbon atom, and the smallest unit of chlorine is chlorine atom. Also remember that atoms are different from one another due to number of protons. Let me repeat this important statement. Atoms are different from one another due to number of protons. For example, in the hydrogen atom there is only one proton and the sodium atom there are 11 protons and the carbon atom there are 6 protons and in the chlorine atom there are 17 protons. Thus remember these three important points about atom. Atoms are the smallest unit of any matter. Secondly, atoms cannot be divided further. Thirdly, atoms are different from one another due to number of protons. Note it down all these three important points about atom. Now, what is a molecule? Well, consider two bricks, two digits, two and nine, and three letters T A C. 
we know that these all are the different smallest units. Now, if I combine bricks, I get a wall. If I combine two digits, 9 and 2, I get a number, 92. If I combine three letters, C, A, T, I get a word, cat. Similarly, consider two atoms, oxygen and hydrogen. If I combine two atoms, I get a molecule of water, H2O. Consider three atoms, carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. If I combine these three atoms, I get a molecule of sugar, C6H12O6. Consider two atoms of chlorine and chlorine. If I combine these two atoms of chlorine, I get a molecule of chlorine gas, Cl2. Therefore, we define a molecule as when two or more atoms combine together chemically, they form a molecule. Let me repeat it. When two or more atoms combine together chemically, they form a molecule. Thus remember that when two or more atoms combine together chemically, we get a molecule. Also, let me give you some examples of molecules. Like oxygen gas, chlorine gas, carbon dioxide gas, HCl or hydrochloric acid, NH3 or ammonia, etc. In oxygen gas, there are two atoms of oxygen. So, it is a molecule of oxygen gas. In chlorine gas, there are also two atoms of chlorine. So, it is a molecule of chlorine gas. In carbon dioxide gas, there is one atom of carbon and two atoms of oxygen. So, it is a molecule of carbon dioxide gas. In HCl, there is one atom of hydrogen and one atom of chlorine. So, it is a molecule of hydrochloric acid. In NH3, there is one atom of nitrogen and three atoms of hydrogen. So, it is a molecule of ammonia gas. To summarize my lecture, we learn that an atom is the smallest unit of any matter. Atoms are different from one another due to proton numbers. Secondly, we also learn that when two or more than two atoms combine together chemically, they form a molecule. If you have learned something new in this video, then like this video and subscribe our channel for more conceptual lectures. Thank you very much for watching this video.